You need to watch this full video for it to work. I'm literally putting you guys on game. Like I have the pink iPad out, so you know I'm not playing. Hey guys, today I'm gonna talk about how to be a wig influencer under 10,000 followers because I see a lot of people were asking me on social media how I get my wig collabs and I literally only have like 7,000 on TikTok, about 2,000 on Instagram, and I have like 1,000 here. So I don't really have a big following and this is why I'm making this video because you can still get wig collabs with like big brands like Eunice, Wiggins, Elfin Hair, and more with under 10K followers. I don't want to waste too much time, so let's get straight into it. I got my iPad full of notes, yes, and you better take notes as well. Because if I can get brand deals, you can definitely do the same thing. And I'm thinking about creating an ebook for this. I'm not sure yet. Anyways, first point is to post about hair consistently. So obviously, it's hard to post if you don't have ideas. So my little trick for that is to go on TikTok, go on Instagram, go on Pinterest, find some hairstyle videos and literally recreate them with your own twist. I see that a lot of videos I perform well are the Amazon videos where people review Amazon hair that's affordable. Even the hairstyle videos where you recreate them, like a hairstyle from Pinterest and then you recreate it into like a TikTok video, these do very well. As you can see, I'm gonna show some examples that I've done that have performed very well in this. Um, recently, I also noticed that ASMR wig installs or like wig prep, they also work as good. And obviously you can post installs and all of that, which I can give you guys like around 30 to 60 video ideas in my ebook, so let me know again if you want it. But yeah, what I would say definitely is follow hair influencers who you can see what they post and then either recreate it, make it better. But if you see like a trend or something, you should definitely hop on it. Second tip is when you post, make sure that you use SEO driven keywords in your caption. I know this sounds like gibberish if you have no idea about marketing terms, but basically SEO is search optimization engine. No, search engine optimization. It's, this basically means that um, if people search like specific keywords in the search bar, let's say on TikTok, your video will most likely pop on it because it has those keywords. Now I know you guys are gonna ask, okay, so how do I put the proper keywords? Let me tell y'all. First thing that I do is imagine keywords that I think that wig companies would use to look for wig influencers, especially wig influencers with small accounts. You really need to make sure that you put all the proper keywords so that you're searchable for the brand. Example of those keywords or hashtag could be Amazon wig reviewer or wig influencer or a micro wig influencer. Again, I can give you guys like 30 to 60 hashtags to put in your captions in my ebook. So, so the second trick to find the proper keywords is to literally put the two first keywords of your video. So if my video is about me installing a blonde wig, and if you know, if you go on TikTok or Pinterest, we have to put black girl up if you want to see black girls. So I would write black girl blonde. And whatever words that you see afterwards, you're going to copy all of that and put it in your caption. Also, you can do the same thing in your video. So you can copy all those keywords and then put it in your video on TikTok and then like make it really small and you can hide it so that TikTok can also notice those keywords in your video as well. Another thing is that you do have to match the wig influencer vibe. I've analyzed wig influencers that perform the best and I've kind of seen two looks to it. Either I see the girls with no makeup, they look fresh and clean, or I see the girls with a nice beat. Like, like if you start analyzing them on TikTok, you'll see what I mean. But yeah, definitely have one of those two vibes. I can't really speak for any other race, but I know for the black girls doing the wig installs, they either have a nice beat or they have like a fresh look to them with no makeup. Because the whole point, you want people to assume that you're a wig influencer. So if you don't look like one, then people are not gonna assume and people are just not gonna watch. And same thing with brands. Okay, so now let's talk about the quality of your content. Okay, so there's different ways that you can film your videos. Sometimes I see girls like film like up close like this, and sometimes they film like a little bit further back. And sometimes they even um, use the back camera towards the mirror so that you see them through the mirror. But you really wanna make sure that you're the focus, that your background, there's no distractions, and that the lighting is bright and it's like shining on you. Also, if you want your videos to look more high quality, I definitely recommend you to play with your settings. So like the exposure, the contrast, and all that. I use CapCut to do so. Okay, now for the equipment. Honestly, you do need to invest a little bit if you don't have like really bright lighting naturally in your room or in your bathroom, I definitely recommend you to get those um, little portable lights like this. I'm gonna just, you see like this, this light is really bright. But you see when I don't have it, like my lights are not too bad, 
but it definitely adds a lot a lot more um lighting when i do add it and like obviously when i adjust it in capca it looks even better i think so i don't know you guys let me know if my quality is good most videos for social media are filmed on your phone so your phone will be just fine I mean, if you want to be, you know, more extra or have even better quality, you can have a camera. But I prefer to use my phone just because it looks more raw and just something that people are familiar with. Also, a tripod is very great if you want to film your videos wherever. Like, I'm setting up my tripod on my counter right now, so it's like the same level. But even when I film my videos, I set it, set it up on my desk or even on the ground, depending on like my setup situation if you don't have a tripod or don't have the money to invest in one that's totally fine you can make it work you know you can just like use a paper towel put your phone on it on top of it and put both of them against a wall or against your mirror and it's gonna hold but if you do want to have the link to the stuff that i use i'll link everything down below if you are looking to have just like natural lighting obviously it's best to film your installs during the day in front of a window um, I've seen some girls do it but here. If I can find some examples, I'll definitely put it. But but that also works. Again, it depends on the vibe that you're going for. The other thing I want to talk about is that you want people to recognize you. This means the editing style, the way you film, it has to be repeated. Because we all know that repetition and practicing and being consistent will get you what you want. And it's all compound, like it's literally all a compound effect. This is one tip I don't hear people talk about, but starting a hair series will definitely get you there. I'm really bad, like, <laughs> I'm giving you guys those tips because it didn't work when I was consistent and when I was doing those things. But you know, life got busy. And yeah, I just know for a fact that hair series do work. Um, I am trying to get back on my grind for real. And that includes me doing hair series where I either recreate hairstyles or do hairstyles for school. It can be like anything you want. Again, if you guys are interested in the ebook, I'll be giving you guys some hairstyle videos or series ideas. But yeah, definitely doing like challenges or series, it will definitely get you where you want to be in terms of being a wig influencer. And again, followers don't matter. Like, I also want to mention that it's not only just the physical, not only the action, but also your mindset. It's really about the mindset, guys. Like, you need to be in a positive mindset. You need to be in a mindset where you think you can be a hair influencer. Because if you don't think you can be a hair influencer, then no one is going to think that for yourself as well. You're the only person here that can make yourself a wig influencer or make you get those brand deals. So whatever method that works best for you guys, which, whether it's praying or meditating, you need to be in a positive energy and mindset and think that you can achieve that goal of yours. And honestly, that just applies to anything you do in life. I just feel like if you don't think you can do something, then you obviously won't achieve it. Once your mindset is there, then you can start taking your actions and let God or whatever you believe in take the next steps for you. Like there's a lot of events in life that can jeopardize our faith or just make us not believe that we can get what we want. And I've been there, done that. Like, I always try to remind myself, like, God has helped me so much and God has put so many opportunities in front of me that I've never thought I was going to be able to grab. Like, I never thought I was going to be an influencer. I never thought I was going to have hair for free. Like, girl, what? I never thought that was possible, especially because I don't even have 10,000 followers. So when I tell you anything is possible, anything is possible. Okay, so now let's talk about the simple stuff, but I know a lot of people don't do it. You wanna make it very easy for brands to reach out to you. So that means you wanna put your email in your bio, even have a link in bio. Um, obviously, if you have more than a thousand followers on TikTok, you can do that. But if you don't, you can always just leave your email in your bio and like say collabs in your email. But definitely a link in bio is like the best option since brands want to see that you can put links in your bio because you they want you to link their hair that people can click on it once they see your video. And then the last thing I want to share with you guys quickly is again what I was talking about earlier, the compound effect of posting consistently and that also applies to posting to different platforms. Obviously, if you post to three different platforms, you are up in your chances three times of being seen by brands. So post everywhere, guys. Post TikTok, post Pinterest, post Instagram, post YouTube shorts, whatever whatever you think is best for you and that's more manageable, just post it there. I would definitely say that YouTube shorts is really underrated, but posting videos there can actually benefit you a lot. And brands are on there too, so hop on it, please. And I'm saying that because sometimes when I post on TikTok, my videos don't really do well, but the next thing you know, I'm posting on Instagram or YouTube shorts, and I'm like up thousands of views. That really helps me broaden my audience 
and in that audience obviously brands are looking at your videos as well i don't even know if that made any sense but i hope you guys understood so with that being said if you take all those steps you should definitely become a wig influencer by the end of 2023 or beginning 2024 whenever i post this video but if you have taken notes and you take actions i guarantee you that you should definitely get your first brand deal soon and once you get your first brand deal don't forget to let me know you can follow all my socials and i'm definitely more active on tiktok so if you want to talk to me chat to me you know you can do that on tiktok or even instagram i answer my instagram dms as well you can comment down below i'm not spicy with my time so so don't be afraid you can blow up my comments and i'll definitely answer you again if you guys want to have more information on this and have like more ideas and hashtags everything already done for you and y'all know i'm not lying because i have a screenshot here of how many followers i have and it's definitely under 10k because if you see this video and i'm at 10k don't think i'm lying <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you again for watching bye